Now I will teach you how to find the rank of matrix by a PAQ form. So we will reduce this matrix in a PAQ form okay, and find the rank of matrix as well. So there are all these steps that are written over here and then we will use those steps and solve this problem. Okay, so first uh, point here says that both row and column operations are allowed. So you can do row as well as column. Okay, that is a one thing. Then next you will write down in this form, okay, the matrix A, which is having M rows and N columns. If you see, we have three rows and we have four columns. Uh, it is written as I M A I N. Now let me write that. This is A is a matrix, which is three cross four. So it will be I three, write a three here, I three A I four. Okay, so now that is in the matrix form, it's going to look like one, two, three, two. Then this is two, three, five, one, and one, three, four, five. That is A. And then I4 simply means, I3 simply means an identity matrix of size three by three. So it's zero, zero, one. That's I3. Now this A, you will keep it A as it is. And I4, that is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, that's going to be your I4. So now once you write like this, there is only one point that you want to note here. That when we, uh, now we are allowed to perform both row and column operations, right? So when we perform row operations, okay, and we are performing operations for matrix A and this. But when we perform row operations, we will do those operations on this I, M as well. So that point is to be noted. And whenever we perform the column operations, we will do that on I, N. Okay, that is the second identity matrix here. So let us begin. The rules are again similar that we have to make the first value 1, which is already 1 in our case right now. Then we have to make these two 0. Then we'll make all these 0. So that sequence will almost remain the same. Okay, just be mindful, be careful that your row operations will, will happen on this and column operation will perform on this. Okay, so just see how that works. The first step, I want to make these two zeros because this is already one here. And to make those two zero, I will write this as R2 becomes R2 minus 2 R1. I'll double this and subtract, so this becomes zero. And R3 becomes R3 minus R1. So we will perform this operation. This will be one, two, three, two, first row as it is. These two will surely become zero. And R2 minus two R1. So multiply by minus two. Okay, let's do that here. Minus two into two is going to be minus four. Minus four and three is going to be minus one. Then multiply by minus two. This will be minus six. And add here, that will become minus one again. Multiply by minus two here. So that will be minus four and one is going to be minus three. So that is the second row operation. And as you know that we have to perform it on this as well. So let me do that real quick. One, zero, zero as it is. When you do R2 minus two R1, multiply by minus two and add, this will be minus two. And since these two are zero, this one and zero will not change. Okay, so that's the second, this operation here. Now let us do the this operation, it is R3 minus R1. So it is one minus one, zero, three minus two, is 1, 4 minus 3 is 1, 5 minus 2 is 3, and do that here as well. 0 minus 1 is minus 1, 0 minus 0 is 0, and 1 minus 0 is 1. So that is, those are the row operations. So we'll perform them on the first matrix. The second entity matrix, this one, I4 will remain as it is. So this one as it is, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0. Zero one. This will remain as it is. Now the next step that we have to do here is we have to make all these values zero, right? So for that uh, we will do column operations now. I can use this one. <coughs> and make all of them zero. So it is going to be C2 becomes C2 minus 2C1. Then C3 becomes C3 minus 3C1 and C4 becomes C4 minus 2C1. If we do these operations, we're surely going to get all these zero. So let me, let me write that down now. 
it is going to be well this is going to be one all of them will become zero when we perform all these operations and since we already have these two zero this whole thing will not affect be not be affected this will also remain as it is so let me write that also it is going to be zero zero and everything as it is minus one minus one minus three one one three actually when I, when i add this will all become zero that, that will do in the next step so uh this case is all column operations so column operations are performed on the next matrix so this one the 3 by 3 matrix will remain as it is so you will have 1 0 0 as it is minus 2 1 0 and minus 1 0 1 this will remain all same but then we will apply those operations on this matrix here okay so it is 1 0 0 0 And then C two minus two C one. If we do C two minus two C one, it will be minus two and zero will become minus two here. And then this is one zero zero. Then the next one will be minus three zero one zero. And this will be minus two zero zero one. Okay, so we've reduced like this. Now let's make this last row zero. For that, I can simply do R three becomes. R three plus R two. So if I add the second row into the third row, it will be one zero zero zero. First row, then this will be zero minus one minus one minus three, and now this becomes zero, isn't it? And then it's a row operation, so we'll perform it on the first matrix here. So one zero zero, then minus two one zero. Well, if you do R three plus R two, it is going to be Minus one and minus two gives me minus three, and zero and one is going to be one, and zero is and one is one a, and this matrix will remain as it is. So it is one minus two minus three minus two, then zero one zero zero, zero zero one zero, and next is zero 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 one. Fair enough. After we convert like this. i can simply make uh, all these three uh, values positive so next step i can do is r2 becomes r2 into minus 1 so this will be 1 0 0 0 right that better 1 0 0 0 and the second row will become 0 1 1 3 and then this is 0 0 0 0 okay on the right hand side it is One zero zero. I multiply R two by minus one, so it is two minus one and zero for this row. Minus three one one a, and then this remains as it is. One minus two minus three minus two zero one zero 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 one zero 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 one. It is all same as the previous one because. the operation we performed was a row operation which is apply, applicable to only this one okay now once we do that last thing we will do is we have to make this 1 0 and this 3 0 so now we'll perform column operation here we can do c3 minus c2 so c3 becomes c3 minus c2 and uh, c4 becomes c4 minus 3 c2 so when we do that it is going to be 1 0 0 0 Then zero one zero 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 zero. That's the reduced form here. Now column operations won't affect anything here. So it is one zero zero two minus one zero minus three one one will remain as it is. A and now we'll perform these column operations on this. So we'll have to do C three minus C two. Okay, first this one zero 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 C one. And column two is minus two one zero zero. There as it is, but when you do C three minus C two, it is minus three minus minus two minus three plus two is going to be minus one, and zero minus one is going to be minus one. One minus zero is one, and zero minus zero is zero. So now this is C four minus three C two. So multiply C two by minus three. That will be Six and minus two is going to be four. Multiply C two by minus three, which is minus three, and zero is going to be minus three here. 
multiply by minus 3 that's 0 and 0 is 0 multiply by minus 3 that is 0 again and then this is 1 so we have basically you know converted our matrix given matrix a into identity matrix let's just see the observation now now if you see here this is the identity matrix and precisely it is of the size 2 so now if you see this this is i2 okay that is identity matrix of size 2 by 2. Therefore, we say the rank of A is going to be 2. That is one of the observation. Then once we reduce these matrices, this one here is called as P. This is matrix P. Okay. And this matrix over here, the reduced version is called as a Q matrix. So the final conclusion, the rank of A is 2 and uh, p and q are the corresponding are corresponding non singular matrices that simply means that if you find out the determinant of p and determinant of q the value is going to be non zero they are always non zero just note one point that p and q are not going to be unique matrices like every person will solve this differently and depending on what kind of steps you take, take the value of P and Q is going to be different for different solutions. So what I'm trying to tell you is P and Q are not unique. Okay, They can have different answers, but then they are definitely going to be non-singular matrices.